Ooh-wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie P all day, and today is the day. Now, it takes a long time for me to flip these videos around, so you'll just have to get over it. It's Bradford. Bradford Knives. Bradford, USA. Bradford, USA. Home of Brad Larkin. Man, as a knife designer, myself, I am very, very picky on knife design. And it's because knife design should be specific. It should... The design should have something to do with what the knife is for and what the knife should be able to accomplish. Um, you'll notice on my own designs, here's my D Bad Menace. It's a like a it's like combat like a uh, like a fighting camp knife is is how I designed it, and that's exactly what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the the double edge from here to there, so you're gonna have that ability to back cut real quick. Um, and you're going to have really good penetration. So if you are in the woods and you do get attacked by something, you have the ability to protect yourself, but also you want the right knife for the right job when it comes to doing all your bushcraft skills. And we just went out the other day, did a video, um, using this to do a, um, a fire and it was just excellent. So when it comes to design, you have to design what's right for the knife, right? I, I can come up with one of those goofy fantasy blades that have cuts all and goofy things all over it. And it's, it's really nothing. It's just for people to get excited over and think they have something great when then it comes down to needing a knife for a specific purpose. You're kind of like, ah, it's kind of fumbly and bumbly. It's not all that great. Where Brad comes in and Bradford Knives, um... They, they have all, like, I'm looking right now at their Guardian uh, three and a half inch sheep's foot. It's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. That's one of the knives, like, it, that I have a bead on that I'd like to do in the future. Um, and seeing as how my hands are double X, I have to be really careful on what knives I choose and what knives I don't because of that. Um, but they do have their very popular Guardian 3 and while my hands would be way too big for a handle like that, they do add the forward choil as a natural grip, not a secondary grip. So even even the three would probably fit a hand like mine. I don't know, but I think it would just by the way I can see in the design. Um, two of their knives that are definitely on my absolute must are the uh, Guardian 5. They even have a 5.5. And the six, the six kind of reminds me of like a uh, one of my favorite knives, the Se um, Unglas, the Hunglas. Uh, it is by just an awesome knife, and the Guardian Six gives me that vibe with a different, with the different flow to it. And I think that that knife is probably amazing. So that is something I would love to get the chance to review one day. Um, right now, I cannot. Um, but they also have a new flipper. And I'm totally, totally looking at that like, well, damn. So they do have some really good stuff. Let's pull up um, the four, the specs on the four. And let's see, let's see, find uh, the exact configuration I have. I don't know if this is, okay, here we go. I'm just talking to myself at this point. So it looks like this one kind of. So we're going to talk about let's see um i want the exact specs oh they're down here okay i had to look for them um overall length of this blade and, and i'm gonna take the blade out we'll talk about the sheath in a minute let's just ooh, get over this right here man um overall length of the blade is 9.125 inches the blade length is 4.625 uh, inches the cutting edge is still over four inches at 4.125 inches. The handle length is four and a half inches. Uh, it's awesome. Awesome handle. Uh, let's see. Leather sheath. It is a fixed blade. Clearly, it is the Guardian 4, obviously. It is designed to be used for camp hiking. That's what it's designed for. That's exactly what this knife is. Um, let's see. Uh, it says blade material options, CPM MagnaCut. I think this one is S690, I think, or N690. And that's what that is, is N690. Um, let's see. Now, they call it a drop point, but I want to get into that because that's where his genius comes in. 
Um, and then it says finish options. They have different options. This is like a stone wash, I think. Um, handle thickness is 0.59 inches. Handle material is uh, micarta. And this handle is really, really cool, man. This is really, really cool. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's like a green and black. Um, but, okay, so that's that's all the specs on this. Now let's get into why... Well, first let's take a look at the sheath. It's a slip-in sheath. Fits all the way in. It's molded, so there's no loosening. You can see how it's molded all the way around. Um, and you don't have to worry about it ever falling out or you losing it on the trail, this thing's gonna stay in there. The leather, whew, man, that is such nice leather. And the cut, instead of just, they gave it like this, whoop, boop, boop. And it, it reminds me a little bit of like the um, the Case X buoy, how they have that, that nice little, just, it's not needed. They could just make it flat and like everybody else's, but giving it just that little bit of extra something is really nice. And one of the things it does is it offers your finger like a little place right here in that little bend so when you're taking the knife out it's you can see like my finger i'll put the knife back in my finger has a little place to grab on that rest so it's really nice um now let's get into some of why this design really speaks to me and then we're going to just take it outside and use it so you can see the end here how it's not completely round it's got a nice cant to it a cant on both sides is going to be great for a pinky hold. It's going to be great for a thumb hold. That's what those are for. That's what makes them work really, really well. You do have a lanyard hole in there. Obviously, there's true full tang. Um, but that little pinky rest, if I wanted to hold it in a traditional grip at this grip size, because it's four and a half inches, the handle from here, not from here, right? So even from there, because of the way it's shaped, I can get still my pinky all the way on there from that forward position, having my thumb way at the, at the top of this ramp, and it gives me a proper grip. But that's not how the grip was designed. That's where these guys are a little different. Everybody and their mother offers a knife with a choil on it, and the choil is a secondary grip. It's something that you can use, that you are allowed to use. This one puts the choil in your proper grip. This is your first grip right here. So you have all of this real estate back here. So you can do um, cracking of rock. You can break open some flint. You could break open muscles and things like that. It has so many options because the grip forces you almost to grab it properly by the choil. And for people who aren't big choil fans, that's where they give you half of the uh, scales still cover that because my finger isn't on steel it is on the actual um actual scales it's a really really great design the way they do this handle because the handle isn't here to here the handle is actually here to here and it is so wonderful in the hand so now you're going to look at this drop right drop point mirror all the way here now normally you'd consider that a straight drop point because that's exactly what it is it has this curve but it's kind of like an anomaly man it's like it gives you this because of the grind his the beveling up here it gives you like this play with the mind play with your sight where it almost looks like a modified clip point because the way they trailed it it's not a trailing point but they took a drop point and trailed it it's really really nice if you were to actually really study this blade, because here you'll see this is flat, right? Now you can see where the tip is. The tip isn't centered. The tip is closer to like down here, which is really weird for a drop point. A lot of times where you're getting your, your tip is going to be dead center. Um, this one is a little bit below and it just offers something very appealing to the eye, the way this thing is shaped. And then you'd see this part and you'd think that this is going to be flat all the way through and then up but it's a tapering rise on the edge this thing is designed so freaking well where where he drew how he wanted his grinds to be it was deliberate purposeful and just absolutely perfect 
These are perfect grinds, man. I gotta say, it's the most impressive thing about these knives is just how the grinds are done. And there's gonna be a billion other companies that do grinds very similar, but these guys have their own take on a very common style in a very common shape, but they found a way to make it better. And that's why I'm so freaking impressed with the design skills over here at, at uh, Bradford Knives. Um, the badging isn't all disgusting. It's literally right there, Bradford Knives and the steel designation. You don't have things all over the blade running down. So it's just really clean, really pretty. And it, it just feels like a good knife. You know what I mean? You could put it in your hand and you can go, yep. So let's take it outside. Woo, it's a beautiful day today. So one thing I didn't talk about, I really want to show this thing off in the sun. Um, man, it is, it's striking, man. This thing is a stunning knife. Um, one thing I didn't talk about that I wanted to is the jimping. The jimping is so well ground. It's so non-aggressive, but like really grabbing at the same time. I want to push my thumb into it. And okay, so you see these these divots i really had to push to get to that but they are literally perfect they're round not sharp so where you normally get square jimping they have round jimping so without pressing my thumb just using it regular like turning the knife with the jimping and all that you're not going to see this crazy embedment like that where some knives you get like these edges in there it digs into your hand this is such comfortable jimping and the reason I wanted to show the dents is because it shows like the meat of your fingers is in there. It's catching it. It's pulling in your, your finger. And normally you'd think that's a bad thing because that's going to make it uncomfortable. But the way they did them round, you can have these little indentures and it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt. There's no, there's no uh, sore spots or anything like that. That's really hard to accomplish because... Normally, if you have if you press on a knife and you have these little indentures, that means something's wrong and you have an uncomfortable spot or this and that. This thing, you want that to happen because that means your finger is falling into the jimping. And uh, the jimping on this was just perfectly, perfectly done. Now, uh, it might sound like, oh, he's giving a little giddy up to these guys and blah, blah, blah. I bought this with my own money. I've never spoken to a single person over there. They don't know I exist, probably. Um, so, no, I'm not getting paid for this, or there's nothing coming at me for this. This is my thoughts, and it's because I love the design. I, I, I think that they, over there, uh, Brad is one of the better designers out there for someone who designs things that aren't out of the box. He just designs straight-up knives. All right, so let's boop, little drop test. See how that thing falls and has a, a bite just from gravity. And it bites in really well because of the um, because of that tapering on the top. A couple hard downward throws. See if anything loosens. See if there's going to be any denting. I doubt that the scales are going to loosen from that. But the bite is really really nice. Um, I didn't do an initial sharpness test. Let's see be nicer if I had something that I could actually move but let's see here let's see yeah yeah that's sharp that is I'm, I'm literally I'm taking off all the hair um this is I'm just literally at this point just shaving just absolutely shaving um this is so nice so yeah the edge the edge on there is super super shave sharp um that is really nice really really nice um i've used some that were i think i might have just sliced my thumb i've used some that were that were shave sharp but in a way where it like you could feel it coming off and you could feel that this one i'm shaving and it's kind of like shaving with a razor where you don't necessarily feel um, what you're shaving. It's just really smooth. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what I'm feeling. All right. So let me make sure I'm in the, in the thing here. We're going to try a straight up push cut half inch nylon rope. Wow. That was 
insanely sharp and easy. Let's try a uh, chop. It's not a very long knife, but it offers you multiple grip points. So we should be able to get enough momentum to chop through the extension cord. There we go. The first one I kind of pulled back on. The second one was no problem. Even the first one went pretty much, well, all the way through anyway. So, um, so yeah, it's, it, the knife is just really, really special, man. This thing is just nice. I have wanted one for so long. It's just always been on the radar, always been there. And I just damn, didn't pull the trigger and I finally did. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's like, what took me so long to get one of the knives that I've wanted more than so many others? You know what I mean? It's like, man, this thing is just sweet. Ah, gosh, that leaves the hand nice too. Let's see. We got the leather belt over here. Got four layers of, let's see how she do. Let's see how she do. Whoo, flying off. That's how she do. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, edge geometry supreme. Edge geometry supreme. Look at that nest right there, man. That is sweet. Um, if it sounds like I'm overly excited, it's because I am. Um, it's, you know how, like, there's some things when I, uh, the Case Double X buoy. It's one of those, it was one of those grail knives for me. It was one of those, I wanted it so bad. So when it finally came in, I was super, super excited. And then to find out that it was as good as I'd hoped it would be, I got even more excited. Let's try a nice little notch right here. And that's how I am with this. It's like, I'm super excited that it's here. And now that it's here and I'm using it, whew, I have like, it's kind of like, okay, well, you had the right to feel that way about it um it really is that nice let's try and square up this notch you old lincoln log great for for building things putting things together um it's really nice if you're building shelters to be able to or, or, or even like camp furniture um or camp cooking things to put stuff up to hold together it's really nice to be able to make a nice square notch um let's uh Let's keep going. Oh, you know what? Let's do the tire stab. Let's do the tire stab with this, with this Brad fur. Boom! Is it made for that? No, it's a camp and hiking. But what if you're out in the middle of camping and, you know, your partner cheats on you? <laughs> you got to get them back. Don't do that. That's not nice. In the yard. All right. So let's come over here. The dreaded net that has killed so many knives. The plastic netting. This thing has literally torn up edges and made good knives look bad. Wow, 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 wow. That went straight through with ease. All right, so that was one of the best of all tested. That was phenomenal. You know what, let's try two layers. You never do two layers. Let's see if I can hold two layers. Um, that is awesome. Boop, oh, man. That is, that's pure. That's pure snowflake right there. That is so, so nice. Let's see, can we use it as skinning? It's a camp blade. If you can't skin with it, there's a problem. Look at this thing. It is just shredding the soccer ball. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, this thing, it feels so good. It's like, it's one of those knives where you pick it up and, and you know this thing is just made to be used. That's what it's for. It's made to be knifing. I don't know. I don't know how else I can explain it, but it's just, it's really proper. It's proper in the grip. It's proper in the twist. I'm going to get somebody out there saying, yeah, but can you use it for self-defense? And uh, I got to tell you all the time, if it's sharp and pointy, yes, um, this thing is better than some sharp and pointies though. I will give it that. All right. So let's try some, uh, let's try some curls here. Let's get it nice and tight. Ooh, the side grip offers really, really nice hold. Look at that curl. Um, yeah, it's really, really comfortable in the side grip. Um, whoop, I lost them. But look at these, man. Look at these, man. 
Let's go all the way around. Oh my goodness. This knife is so nice. This knife is so nice. I waited so why did I wait? All right, so let's see. We gotta make spears. You gotta make, oh my gosh, it chops nice. Um, you gotta make arrowheads, you gotta make pit spikes, you gotta make tent spikes, you gotta make hot dog spikes. I don't care what you're making. Um, using this knife, you're gonna get there. You're definitely gonna get there. Look at this, man. This is a much better carver than I thought it was. Much better carver. Look at this. That is super, super nice. Um, just really, really nice. Uh, let's try. Let's try and use it. Get a little cross baton. That is so, so nice. What about bow hole drilling? So yesterday I was making my uh, my Indian, my Native American war clubs, and I got myself on the grinding wheel and I just opened it on this wood. All right, so let's see, bow hole drilling. All right, here. Yeah, it's got a nice, strong tip. The, um, the angle of the drop is really, really nice. So... It's going to really offer you um, an excellent position when doing things like that. Really, really good. Let's see here. Got some kindling made. Golly. Uh, this is like knife love for me right here. It's like when you go in, obviously the steel is great the um the materials great they have a great heat treat but it, it, the design everything about it is really good and when you go into a knife excited because you expect it to perform a certain way and then you get it and it does <sighs> golly hey damn dogs um it just makes life good oh <laughs> I hit that with the uh, with the rear of the knife. Oh, I'm hitting the rear of the knife. I need to back up. I need to back up, y'all. <laughs> and can you find a way to throw it? Absolutely. I'm going to back up. Do that again. Oh, I hit the, I hit the edge. You can see where it hit right here. Oh, but can you throw it? Yeah, it'll throw. He'll throw. It's hard from a kneeling position, um, but you can definitely, definitely throw it. Let's see. Let's see. The, the uh, my problem is the target is so low to the ground. Oh, I missed it. That was an attempt at a no spin. There we go. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Like seven feet away. All right, so I'll tell you, man, this is pure, this is pure knife heaven for me to, um, to love something and then to get it into your possession and have it suck is the worst feeling, but to love something, get it into your possession and find out it's even better than you thought it was. Whoo. Man, I can only imagine that Bradford 6. Oh, that thing has to be a beast. I would bet that the 6 can chop like a bigger knife. I would bet. Just because of the way they do their handles, their angles, and their edge profiling, um, I would have no doubt that that thing is a straight-up handler. I mean, golly. This thing is awesome. So people over at Bradford Knives absolutely, absolutely killed it. Man, this is so nice. So if you're looking for just an absolute great, I mean great camp knife, um, even just a great belt knife, you could EDC this. Uh, get over to Bradford. Check these guys out. 
this is some real deal stuff right here. This, this isn't, wow, this is really good. No, this is really great. This is really great. This is like next level kind of good. Um, definitely check this out. These knives, these knives are dope, man. These are awesome. So, uh, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put it on my belt for today. And I'm going to rock and roll with my guardian. I freaking, this is love. I love this knife. Um, that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.